Hello friends. You must have come across patients, with sudden loss of consciousness, then regaining full consciousness without any deficit. And you see that there is no past history of any significance. You have to ascertain that whether the patient have had seizure, or was it syncope. A good history and relevant physical examination will help to categorize the event in either of the two. This differentiation is important because it will help you order more specified investigations, instead of advising a battery of tests. During assessment of these patients, eyewitnesses' account is extremely valuable. Witness may tell you about jerky movements during the event, it shall be noted however that, some patients with syncope, actually may have brief stiffening and limb twitching during the episode, which would need differentiation from seizure-like movements. In this video, we will give you key points, which when considered an assessment of these patients, will help you solve the puzzle. Please note that, we do not discuss about pseudo-seizures, and subtypes of syncope in this video. Having said that, Let's see these points one by one. Number 1. Ask about aura. For example, olfactory hallucinations. If there is presence of aura, it favors seizures. Number 2. Was there cyanosis during the event? If cyanosis was noticed during the event, it again favors seizures. Number 3. Pallor. Presence of pallor, during the episode, goes more in favor of syncope. Extreme or death-like pallor, if noticed during the episode, the patient must be evaluated in detail for cardiac syncope, for diseases such as cardiac arrhythmias, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, and left ventricular dysfunction etc. Number 4. Ask about the rapidity of recovery from the event. If the recovery was rapid, then it was syncope. In seizures, recovery is late, usually more than a minute. Number 5. Tongue bite. If there is tongue biting, on the lateral edges of tongue, this is noticed in seizures, but not in syncope. Number 6. Post-ictal delirium. Altered behavior, and impaired cognition, after regaining consciousness, is featured in seizures, but not in syncope. Number 7. Post-ictal amnesia. Lack of memory about events prior to loss of consciousness is seen with seizures. Number 8. Post-ictal headache. Patients with seizures usually experience headache after regaining consciousness. And this is it for this video. Dear friends, we are making these videos for about six years now. Please help this channel grow in its audience by sharing it with your friends. And if not already done, subscribe our channel. Thank you.